microtransactions. Those wonderful creations that haven't at all exposed how greedy gaming companies can be. Those things that every average Joe gamer loves to see in their video games, are they coming to Crash Bandicoot 4? First, I should tell you that if you do like the opinions expressed in this video, then make sure to like and subscribe. Also, leave a comment down below that always helps me to know what you're thinking about every topic that I talk about, so I definitely want you to put that down there. I promise you, this one seems like it's going to be a fun one. Let's get into the video. Crash Bandicoot has a long and wonderful history going back to Nintendo taking on the frontman Mario in ads in the 1990s. He's finally coming back and that's great news for all the Crash fans who have been waiting for the franchise to basically just be invigorated for years, reinvigorated I should say, because you know, let's say that the franchise basically lost its way there for a little bit and you know, I guess it's um, it's about time, a pun very much intended, for this franchise to basically come back and it does look set to land on its feet, which is awesome and I am very keen to see what happens with this next game. But I guess one of the bigger questions that gamers have had regarding this game is, well probably one of the more important ones, will this game have microtransactions? And why do they ask this? Because this always, always makes games better, okay? Microtransactions always add to that fun experience for a game you already paid full price for. Wait a minute, it doesn't. Uh, that's just what these companies have been telling us for ages, or they want us to believe it, I guess. I've, I'm unsure how this works, but I mean, obviously it works for them. Just look how great those uh, GTA 5 shark cards are. That's complete value for money. Of course, we all know. Uh, if you don't, then we should probably figure it out right now. I am very much kidding about that, of course, um, but it does highlight the fact that corporations are not afraid to take advantage of gamers in order to make a little bit more bang for their buck on a game that they spent enough time on except GTA 5 is one of those 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 funny things where they made their bang uh, before the game was even sold and they're still making their buck it's very crazy uh, I want to say that the people behind the recent Crash Bandicoot games are the same uh, well, they, they, they really want us to get the most out of our game. But in all honesty, the people that worked on Crash Team Racing, and I'm not 100% sure if they are the same, but I do believe that they are, uh, Crash Team Racing had the same promises of no microtransactions, and these words say it all, basically. Uh, yeah, I'll start with this. The developer responded, by the way, straight away to the speculation that this new game would have microtransactions by stating outright that this would not be in the game. It was said that uh, a few extra skins would be there for those who purchased the game digitally, but a complete destruction of the idea of microtransactions was made, so we should we should be happy. Uh, the statement said it all, and to be honest, I would say that gamers, uh, you know, you need to be excited. We should be excited about this news. It sounds like... Uh, there's going to be no microtransactions, except that we shouldn't be excited about this because we've heard this and we've seen it before when developers promise the world without microtransactions, you know, that mythical utopia that used to exist and now doesn't, and then they go back on their word and inevitably they put in microtransactions because they know that it's going to make them more money. Now, gamers obviously dislike them, uh, but developers definitely love microtransactions and I can't blame them, okay? That extra crash, uh, the, sorry, the extra cash must pump, you know, in a hell of a lot of money after the initial sale of the game. And it's probably glorious. It probably looks good. Their bank accounts are happy. Uh, and to be fair, though, I can't entirely fault developers for using this tool again and again and again and again. It's us gamers who buy into this strategy that they use to make more and more money. And that's realistically, that is our fault. They lock up the best stuff. And instead of just being smart about it and, you know, not giving in, we're willing to pay for the best stuff. And they already know this. We are so happy to part with our money by now that developers are essentially beyond stupid for not putting these things into the game. Let's be honest with you, with everybody, okay? When we get annoyed about microtransactions, we shouldn't be annoyed at the developer. They understand that people are going to part with their money. We should be annoyed with the people that actually pay the money for the items that are being on, that are made on offer. That is what we should do. And look, the one problem that microtransactions do have for these companies, uh, which, you know, they love to put in and make themselves more cash, is that microtransactions generally tend to smell up these companies, and generally speaking, gamers tend to get wise to the fact that they use these and cannot be trusted. Now, 
I do wish that I could say that this is the same for the Crash Bandicoot game and I honestly, I really do, I have so much hope for this game and the fact that there may or may not be microtransactions, I really hope that there aren't and I really hope we can trust the developer. But, like I mentioned before, there's a game that precedes this one and the developers promised the same thing, which is no microtransactions, only to put in some microtransactions about three months later. That's only 90 days if you really count that out, or 91 depending on, whatever. That's 90 days, they, they, they couldn't hold off on their promise for even 100 days, okay? So will this game really be free of microtransactions, or will it be rampant with those and we're just unavoidable and we just have to deal with it? Only time will tell, okay? Personally, if you have to pay for anything, I'd hope it's only the DLC and not additional or better items because it really does ruin the flow of the game. Especially if something is locked behind a paywall or 30 hours of gameplay just to gain the experience for that one item. It doesn't enhance the game in any way and it definitely does not make it more fun to play because you're trying to get that item for several hours. So the only point to, is to make the company money which is what they want to do and us as gamers we just need to stop giving in okay. We're going to complain about microtransactions for years and years to come and I'm sure that the further we get into a digital age or a digital only age the more microtransactions they're going to want to put in and we just need to be the smart ones and not purchase the microtransactions it's very very simple but as long as we keep doing that and companies know that we're going to do that they're going to put them in in some way shape or form let's be honest uh, anyways that is my view on this whole thing if you have different thoughts or opinions then make sure that they're heard down below the comment section is waiting for you if you enjoyed the video then make sure to leave a like and subscribe otherwise your time is precious that's all from me i'm done i'm out peace